Hello and welcome to the third um, instalment of the building blog for the Junkmeister BU133. As you can see, I've actually started to tackle the engine bay and front compartment. And I think you'll also notice that there's a lot of balsa involved here. And there's also going to be a lot of balsa that needs to be removed. In fact, the parts I'm, hold, I'm holding down here haven't been glued in yet. But it's just to give an idea of the dimensions and how things are going to fit. I've also had to uh, work on this because I have been trying to put a quart into a paint pot in the sense that this is a big engine and it's uh, larger than the original intentions for this model, although I think it's well capable of handling it. It's a 20cc uh, gasser and I've had to make a few minor adjustments uh, involving dropping the um, engine beam so that I could invert the engine. But if I show you it now, if I take these parts out, you can see the size of the material. I was faced with the problem that I don't have any instructions for this model. Um, and some of the parts had been labelled, but they'd been labelled incorrectly. So it, it was a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle um, without the original picture to go from. So I've had to work from the plans, which has involved a little bit of head scratching, to get to this stage. As you can see, the compartment itself is finished. And I don't know if it's evident there, but I have actually put a little bit of uh, right thrust on the engine, although none shown on the plan and without an instruction book, I don't know. But I think it's going to be necessary for an engine with this sort of torque. Um, I wanted to build this off plan, or rather um, not attached to the rest of the rear fuselage because I think it's important that it's square and then everything else will be married up to it. As you can see, it's a substantial block and there is going to be enormous amounts of removal of material. I mean, that's literally two rectangular blocks. Um, the side shape between the former A, B, or B, C and D, as it is labelled on the diagrams, I believe, is achieved through a sub-assembly, which I need to cut out, and that goes between the formers um, with these additional parts glued in to form the shape, the, the rounded nose area. These were the parts which were unidentified and I um, had to label and work out what went where. Um, the plans from Outer Zone, which I downloaded, are slightly different, but there's also a 3D exploded diagram, which is enormously helpful. Um, I've also worked out, if I turn this round, that wherever the sheets are marked with BIS, it means it's a sub-assembly. So Q forms the floor to the engine bay compartment, and QBIS glues to that to make the final shape. Likewise, the side panels, OBIS left side, goes with the corresponding O here. So that's where we're up to. Um, I've enjoyed actually getting involved in a little bit of head scratching. Cutting out these formers in 8th ply is not much fun and it's obvious why laser cutting has become so um, prevalent in the model making uh, industry because cutting them out by hand is a nightmare and that's obviously what I've had to do with these formers. They were pressed but it basically made an indentation in the ply and little else and they had to be hand cut out. Um, it was really just one step above tracing them and cutting them out from solid. It wasn't much different, to be honest with you. So that's what I've had to do up to now. Um, I hope that piques people's interest. I'll update you on the next stage when I get there. If you can get flying, 
Enjoy it if you can't get the modelling knife out. Take care.